My name is Joe Webby. Um, I've just come off the GDS project and now working at the enlarged Cotter Dam. What we're doing at the moment is building up a tower crane, which is tower crane three. Uh, this crane is um, uh, about 54 metres freestanding. It's got a, it'll have a 74 metre jib on it and we'll be able to lift about five tonnes out at the 74 metre mark. So it's a, uh, got a very big capacity, the tower crane. In order to install the tower crane, we've had to have a 500 tonne crane to install that. In order to get the 500 tonne crane up, we've had to have a 100 tonne crane to help put that together. So it's a, um, it's a big process to go through all the various safety requirements to, um, to enable what we're seeing here now to happen. The crane that you can see over here is a Commodore 561 uh, topless tower crane. Uh, it has a maximum boom length of 84 metres. It's, it's all transported on semi-trailers, yep, packed and loaded on, yeah, pretty easy. How many? Oh, 14 loads, 14 loads to get it all down here, yeah, from Sydney. We've got here at the moment, um, Verticon are putting the components for the tower crane together. Um, they're putting the winch together with the handrail. Um, as you can see, there's part of the jib section for the tower crane. They're the white frames out here. Um, what the 500 tonne has got at the moment, um, they've just thrown the uh, slew ring and the cab and mounted that to the tower crane. So obviously this is a jib section. Um, to my left here is the 100 tonne crane. That's the driver. From Rumbles. Um, this is what we use to put the 500 ton crane together. Most of the uh, get, uh, loads off the truck, uh, the 100 ton crane will pick up. If the 500 can't, can't reach it, you'll slow it over to him and then the 500 throws it up onto the tower crane. Um, and this is the 500 ton crane. And what they're doing at the moment there, they're talking up the bolts in between each section of the tower. And what, what Verticon have is a cage which they mount onto the outside of the uh, tower crane and the men go onto that cage, they torque their bolts, if you want to come have a closer look. So what the guys do, they, they get onto that cage, torque the outside bolts, get back inside the tower crane and then they relocate that box to do the other bolts on the outside and keep going up. Everything that we do prior to this is all down to planning. Verticon, the people that we use, their background is putting up these tower cranes. Um, we have an exclusion zone, we make sure that no one else bar them are actually working in that area. And that's pretty much it really. Um, and having our toolboxes and, make, and making sure that everyone has the picture of what's, what's, like, what's happening. Oh, it's been smooth. Yeah. It's real smooth, yeah. We've had uh, two engineers, Jordan and um, David Kwan. Um, their planning has, has run everything smooth prior to, the, to, to, the, to these two days. Yeah, so everything's gone sweet. Uh, this is just the uh, 50 metre section of boom we're putting up. Um, already put up a 24 metre section. Uh, the boys are just pinning it off now. And then uh, we put some counterweight on and we're we'll just about done. Crane driver knows what he's doing. He knows how they want it up there. They're talking, we're all talking on the radios, knowing exactly what's, what's needed. If it's really windy, we might have needed a tag line on both ends and two guys to try and hold it. And then of course, if it is, uh, is far too windy, we just can't do the job. The wind will just blow everything around. And, and Mother Nature plays a big part in the job. You work, for, work up there, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's pretty basic stuff. 
the main thing is your tools. Yourself, it's very hard for you to fall off there. But your tools are the things that you've got to make sure are secured and tied off. If they fall off, they come down and hit someone on the head. That's it. And besides that, you've got to climb all the way down and get it. It's too far. So, you've got to look after tools. Yeah. The guys down here, we've got a, if you've noticed, we've got to set everything up just right for the guys up there to make it easy for them. Last thing they want us to be struggling because we haven't hooked the load up square or it's not straight. So we've sort of got the level out and make sure everything's just right, make it easy for the guys up there. If they're struggling, it's making it hard, and we've got to buy the beer. <laughs> and uh, with the, the design of this crane, you can't load one side of it up. If you put all of the vertical up, you've got to put piece by piece so that the tower doesn't get too much on one side and lean over. When you come to do a job, people haven't seen it. Everyone comes out, they want to watch what's going on. It's something they don't see. But to us, it's, uh, it becomes just an everyday thing, you know, because that's what we're doing. You do a job like this in George Street in the city, and you've got to close the street down, you get hundreds of thousands of people stopping to uh, watch what you're doing. So, you know, it's pretty cool. <laughs>